is Angie. All right, here's Angie. So good body position, uh, nice long uh, reach forward, uh, comfortable breathing rotation wise. Legs might just be uh, a tad low. I mean, that's the slightest bit low. Um, but you're streamlining everything looks good. You're reaching pretty much right in front of your shoulders like you should. You have a relaxed kick. And the, the kick timing works well with your strokes. So your streamline above water, all, all that's good. Here you can see your uh, your legs stay in the the same line as your upper body, so you're not um, creating extra drag with a uh, leg kicking off to the side or anything. Yes, yeah, so all the improvement is going to be with the underwater uh, aspects of the stroke for you. So left hand is going slightly in front of the head when you're reaching forward. Uh, it's not much, but you want to you want to have that just off the side, right? So uh, 11 and one, if you recall that, like one hand's at 11, left hand at 11, right hand at one, as in like a clock. So here you can see uh, what's going on with the pull, and the, what you're doing is an elbow slip so you'd have a really nice extension and then the hand and form just don't go vertical um, or if they do it's later in the stroke and the issue there is that you're you're slipping through the water somewhat and the other way of thinking about it is that your elbow comes back towards your torso before your hand and your forearm you really want your hand and your forearm directly below your elbow as early as possible in the stroke so that you have as much surface area pulling water back. That's the, the main idea of this high elbow, early vertical forearm. Um, your, your hips and legs are just a little bit low, um, so it looks to me like you're, you're kicking a lot from the knee. So if you have a, a, a kick that it originates from the knee, it doesn't have as much power as it should, so you want to originate that kick in the, in the hip. And then here, good line or path of your stroke. Uh, left hand just a little in front of your head or starting just a little in front of your head. Um, that's minor. So the major fix for you is the catch angle or getting more high elbow catch. Uh, secondary thing will be working on the kick. So you're kicking from the hip, getting a stronger kick, which will help put your hips and legs in a better body position, create a better streamline you be a little faster just by doing that. A stronger kick would also help create more forward thrust, which is always good. So here, uh, you can see the elbow is kind of starting to come back. Your hand and forearm are getting some vertical motion there, uh, but elbow at midpoint of the stroke here, um, elbow now two-thirds of the way, hand and forearm are just getting to that vertical point. So that's the the trick to it is getting that hand and forearm vertical way way out in front <coughs> it's going to be similar on this side <coughs> it's a very nice reach extension no problems there you rotate into the stroke that's good and then starting out with a straight arm style of pull which is going to be better than an elbow slip you get a little more grab on the water in this fashion so this arm actually is not quite the same it's more of a straight arm pull and then here you can see the elbow you know leading the stroke back a bit so mostly straight arm with some elbow slip on that side um, I hope all that helps